Dana 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 Batman. Bada 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 Zach man. I'm Zach and this is Zach Collects. Thank you for joining me. You know what I'd like to do with my show is I'd like to have fun with you and we'd like to look at some collectibles. We want to look at comic books. We want to talk about food perhaps, maybe restaurants. Very important, we're going to be going to some comic book and action figure shops up in the Jacksonville area. I support the local guys big time, and I'd like to go up there and show you how cool they are. And we'll be doing that as well. And, you know, comic book shops in other areas too, maybe Orlando or so. I'm based here in Florida, so that's just kind of my home turf, so to speak. But the other thing we're going to do is, very important, is we're going to unbox some pretty cool toys. And uh, right here is the Marvel Legends Comic Book Inspired Deluxe War Machine with effects parts. And we're going to be taking a look at that together. We're going to open that up and have some fun with it right now. Once again, thank you for joining me here at Zach Collects. Be right back. So here we go with our unboxing. Now, as you can see, this is the Marvel Legends Classic uh brand new type of deluxe packaging it's a little wider than the normal marvel legends and you've all seen that i'm sure and of course in the front you've got marvel war machine i'm not even going to repeat this you can read it if you want to but uh, you can see that the way it's packaged very nice you can see everything very collector friendly you can leave it in the package and be happy with that or like me you take them out side art awesome very cool and then on the back, we hear about Marvel's War Machine, which, once again, you can pause that and read that if you'd like, as long as I can move it. There you go. I'll stop it now. And on the side of the other side, there's a, we have some more marvelous Marvel War Machine artwork. Well, I've already taken the liberty of pre-opening the box, so we're going to pull some things out and see what it all looks like. Yes, here I go. Once again, once this is done, we can't go back. We can't go back. It's done. The deed is done. Here goes the, uh, the package is gone. Okay, there we are. And here we have our marvelous war machine. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look wonderful? Yeah, there's some reused parts. Um, I, again, I said I wasn't going to critique or review. There is some reused parts, but da gosh darn, it looks wonderful. I love what they did with this figure. They even included, of course, a uh, roadie head as well as for us as well. Woo! There we go. Okay, well, let's take him out of the package, see what we have. And if I can get him out of the package, and there he goes. There he goes. Oh, boy, I tell you what, the old days with everything was tied in with ties and ropes and all kinds of crazy things. There we have our war machine. Look at the side of his head, by the way. Isn't that nice? A nice little detail like that. That's great. That's so comic book accurate, too. You know, some people have said, oh, his gun should have been bigger. I think they look great. I think they look just fine. I think, that they, you know, it's a good size. And I think they did a good job with that. So here is the figure in its entirety. Hello, how are you? You don't mess with me because I'm warmer. And his backside looks very good, too. Lots of good detail. There we go, and his roadie butt and the whole bit. Very nicely done. I, I love what they did with this. And, and you can see the articulation is great. See, these are a little softer plastic on the shoulder, so you can actually raise the arms up. It's useful articulation there. Um, there's actually gun attached to this arm. There's no gun attached to this arm, though, right here. But, of course, we do have all of our wonderful accessories. And our accessories include, limited to, but... Uh, <laughs> they include, but not limited to. Um, what are these, you say? Well, what we do is we take we take these pieces right here, and we attach them to his boots. His boots are right there. And we can put them in like that. And we put them in like this. There we go. And then we can place them inside of the base. Well, I'm, I'm calling it a base, but... So you can see, it's like this, and it fell down, go boom. Let me try that one more time. Here we go. I'll do them one at a time. So, so you can see, this is the base, like that. Great effects, great paint on that, too. Very nicely done. Like what they did there. So anyway, that's that. Moving on, we've got blaster parts. All kinds of blaster parts. Like so. And, of course, we have the roadie head as well. And... Uh, Tell you what, I'm going to pause for just a second. I'm going to come on back and put all the parts on them, and we'll see what it looks like. 
And here he is, all set up in wonderful, wonderful fashion, I think. It looks terrific. Don't forget also that we do have the roadie head that comes with it. And we have two little blaster effects that go in the gun that has the, uh, I guess you call that the motion uh, firing uh, that I put on there. And then we also have even little smoke effects that can go in that same gun. They're little and they're smoky. See? Smoky little. All right. But this is what he looks like all together. And that's his base, which I just love. I think that's fantastic. That looks just great. Don't you think so? You see the light behind it. You can see the light through it. It's very, very nice. Uh, the way he looks overall, terrific. Right out of the comic book, like he came to life. And again, I've got that motion blaster effect on his gun, on his right arm. And we have the blaster effect coming from one of the cannons on his shoulder and the missile effect. The mi Let me get closer on that. See the missiles? That's great. That's wonderful. I tell you what, you know, there's a lot to be said for keeping the, the healthy kid inside of you alive. That's a wonderful set. That's the brand new Marvel Legends comic, comic book inspired war machine. Highly recommended. Once again, I'm not reviewing or critiquing it. I'm just saying it's a lot of fun. I think you'll really enjoy it. A lot of useful articulation. I don't want to go through all the articulation points. They get so boring. He's got a lot of great articulation. And if you've ever had a Marvel Legends in your hand, it's of, the, of the new variety, you know what kind of articulation to expect. And it certainly is there. So anyway, highly recommended. Go get you one if you can find it. Uh, I actually, actually, I got mine from eBay. Now, I, didn't pay, I didn't pay a huge scalper markup on it either. And I highly recommend that you do that. So, this is Zach from Zach Collects. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy the, or night, or, or even early, early morning, whatever the case may be. And keep collecting and have fun. Bye-bye.